Oh, what's it do to get rid of that stupid duck in the corner? You are alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, but I like that duck in the corner. There's a that duck is like I, just as you hit points. live, a gnat just flew in front of me. That is going to probably attack me the entire stream. That is awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's that's perfect. Yeah, and that gives people something to watch. I'm going over here to. Uh... All right, so I'm in the Facebook group, and I can see that we are also in this Facebook group. Although, oh, Matthew yeah, Lopez already commented. Of... What's up? Yes, Matthew Lopez is watching us. Uh, so I'm going to close this so that I don't have too too many windows going. And hopefully this is going to you know work okay and not be too stuttery and uh, awful. Uh, so he commented on the Facebook one, but it didn't appear in our stream yard. I've got a thing over here on the right that says, what's up? I'm guessing that's from Matthew Lopez. Yeah. I, why isn't mine... Oh, wait. Oh, comments. Oh, I was in the private chat. Dad. Never mind. I do see. I don't see the name. I just see what's up. It says Facebook user. Yeah, mine says Facebook so. user, too. Is your internet uh, good enough that you can have opened the uh, Facebook tab? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have it on the side. Well? Yeah. Okay. So you can actually see who's leaving these comments and stuff. Because if I'm trying to do that, it like my whole like laptop's probably going to like blow up or something. Yeah. I'll I don't know if it'll blow up. To... I think it might crash. I'll try to check as often as I can. Okay, so. All right, so we are here tonight, and we are excited because we each have our box of Evolving oh. Skies Pokemon card game, and this video, I really it's really throwing me that like when I move my hand, it moves over to a, a different direction. Um, it it's makes weird sense. Somehow. <laughs> that's how cameras work, though. See, I'm moving left, but it's going right. So that's Yeah, just, it's happening for me, too. That's... I really don't like it. I wish it would... I wish it would mirror my camera, but it's not going to do that, I guess. So I'm going to have to learn to live with it, I suppose. So, um, Jake, what made you decide to uh, purchase this Elite Trainer box? Because it doesn't seem that that's a thing that you ordinarily would do. It is not something I ordinarily do. Um, this is actually the first Pokemon card pack I've ever bought in my life. Uh, oh, really? I mean, if, if I recall, I think the week that these went up, there was a lot of people posting about cards and uh, looking like they were having a great time, and people were like, oh, look what I pulled and stuff, and this came up. And I'm a sucker for uh, Vaporeon. Vaporeon's definitely my favorite evolution. I'm a huge water Pokemon fan. And uh, I also, I like Espeon. I like Glaceon. I don't really care for the fairy one too much, but um, yeah, and I, I was like, it was an impulse. I was like, I want that sounds like fun. Let's, let's open some cards. And then I immediately had like remorse afterward, like, oh no, did I really want to buy these? But then you bought them, and then you you made me feel bad for making you buy them, so I just decided we'll feel bad together and own these two. I know I don't, I don't feel bad for making you feel bad because I had no intention of buying these. Yeah, I wasn't looking until you were like, "Oh, you can just keep going to the site and you can keep refreshing." And like sometimes, like it might hey. go through, and then it did. And like this is this was the set that I prefer because it has Pokemon in it that I would like to like in game, like Glaceon, who is useless, and Espeon, who's close to useless. And See, uh, that's the, that's know. the thing though. I don't care about Pokemon that are useless or not. I like ones that look cool and are have cool like personalities to them. That's that's what I like Pokemon for. Um, I'm I guess you could say I'm like bad at uh, training them in that aspect. I guess because of that. But I mean that would be good for when we battle. Yeah. I mean, see a lot of me. weird Pokemon for me. Although I have some Pokemon that are like considered good, but that's. I mean, I am hoping to see lots of weird Pokemon from you, and uh, you know things I normally would. I have a few weird Pokemon you sent me, so. Uh, I, I know to... I'm excited for that. Uh, Matthew Lopez says I have to go to bed, unfortunately, but I'll catch this video tomorrow. Have fun, y'all. May luck be in your favor, the both of you. Thank you, Matthew. Ah, thank you for watching it all, Matthew Lopez. It was a delight to get dinner with you this week. I mean, we don't know what, uh, well, Dabs probably knows a lot more about cards than I do, but I could pull the rarest card in existence and be like, oh, huh, cool. I don't, I don't oh, know what I, this is. I definitely don't. <laughs> I definitely do not. I wish we had somebody in here with us who knew a ton about this. I wish that James Bennington was here or Michael Berger or pretty much anyone. Or, you know, Bang cool. could be here like looking stuff up for us like on uh, Google or something. That's true. Or Bang's son. His oldest son is uh, quite knowledgeable. Actually, I was very impressed. He, I guarantee he knows more than I do. 
All right, so I have uh, used my exacto to cut the plastic off of this box. I don't know oh. if your box already had the plastic off yeah. of it or uh, not. No, but... I, I, I took it off beforehand because I didn't think that mattered too much for the unboxing. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Is this like a... All right, so I've cut... They come with like a pamphlet or something? Is this the list of no, the parts? I don't, I don't... Hang on, I don't have that yet. I just pulled off the slipcase and hey, there's like artwork inside of this slipcase. That's kind of cool. Can Whoa, you yeah. See that? Uh, not with my lighting, they can, but I bet they came with yours. There's like a Requeza in there and uh, Espion on the other side, I think. Uh, Sorry, I, I can't. I see Scubion on mine and Umbreon. It's hard to capture this because it's inside the box, but I mean, it's, yeah. you're capturing it better than me. I've never heard of artwork inside of a sleeve before. That That is definitely new to me. Um, and let's see if there's a player's guide in here. Oh, it shows the, the different cards. It shows the different cards that are in this set. Oh. Like, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I want to look at this yet because that's going to be spoilers. And like, if I don't know what's in this set already, I might as well wait like, am, an extra, like 20 minutes. I'm okay with putting this to the side. I did look online and I saw a... I just glanced at the list of cards and I was like, wow, that's a lot of cards. And I like pulled off the page because I just I just didn't look closely. But uh yeah. So that leaves now, this the box. box itself is quite nice. I like the uh foil touching like here on the box. Like and these are evolutions that I like. So this is quite pretty. And you know, the purple, the pink, the blue, like these are colors I like too. So I'm glad that I got this box. The design is also cool. It's not it's not uh the same on each side it's it's a mirror it's almost, almost like a mirror of each other that's actually pretty cool put that to the side okay so, so we pull this off the top i think i remember this from my one box that i had i had a new trainer box of uh shining fates but like that box was not as exciting looking as this one i think that just had like a plain eevee or something like that. and i just pulled I out the divider hopefully that doesn't get everything mixed up but i think you're kind of supposed to do what's, that what's in the divider let's see we got trading card game rules with the uh to uh Urshifu's on it which you know that was from a different expansion so it's kind of recycled art that's sort of weird uh let's see what's in here in the middle we've got dice we've got oh, the sleeve dice. protectors in the, do, on the do side. you use dice when you play pokemon uh i'd imagine there might be some that have to have a dice roll oh hey here's an eevee i've got an eevee pin in mind you i would guess oh, you probably have the I same do pen. also have an eevee pin it's a nice uh enamel pin and, and then here's uh, our is this 10 packs 10 packs of cards right uh let's see we got the pokemon center version so i think there's 10 packs instead of eight so okay. let me pull out this cool geometric shape divider thing whoa and there's is this a whole deck of cards too why is i think that i think that's a whole deck of energy cards so that we can actually play oh, if we okay. play this game <laughs> there's like because there's, of, i don't know how many cards are but this looks like at least 100 cards right here or however many are in like a deck uh, i think it's also on the i think it's also on the back of the box before we cut it open like how many energy oh. cards there were because i remember looking at it with you i think there's like there know, are 45 energy cards okay so i was almost half correct Oh man, I like these sleeve protectors a lot. Like this was a this was a good buy, Jake Meyer. I mean, Wait. I don't know if this was a good buy because we haven't opened any cards, but like I'm feeling good about this so far. So you yeah. might have seduced me to purchase some something really good. Here's this cool uh, holographic coin. What are these uh, thicker cardboard ones? There's like five of them. I think they Four. might be dividers, so, like to like divide up the cards that are in this elite trainer box. Oh, okay. Does that, does that do seem not. feasible? It's possible. I definitely don't have the amount of cards required to divide them, but I'll put that to the side. I mean, they are anticipating that we're going to buy a bunch of these boxes, I think. And is this uh, online rewards await you? Expand your game, play online. Yeah, don't uh, show that card on the screen, because if you do, people can claim your like code and uh, you know get your downloadable content cards. I've okay. kind of been showing them during my unboxings, because I'm I don't think I'm gonna play online, and if I do decide to play online, like then I'm screwed. I'll, I'll, put that to the, I'll put that to the side for now. So we got lots of basic energies here, which is you know, good to have because there's only one of those per pack uh, in each pack that we open. And here's the sleeve protectors, which they kind of warped on mine. They look sort of weird, but Justina Noreen is here. Welcome. She ah, had thank a, you, Justina. She has a zero uh, dot zero. Uh, wink face. I don't know what that is. <laughs> ah, zero dot zero. Of course. I I also oh, don't know what that o. is. O. 
Justina, right. if you're listening, tag Furman and get him to come in here so that we have, you know, more viewers because we'd like to have more viewers. Of course. Although I'd imagine most people will view this after after the fact. But... Oh yeah, see the see that pin now or the the coin. Yeah, it's wow. a nice looking coin. Like I feel like we've got some good stuff here with these packs. Like this was probably plastic. a good use of whatever amount of money we paid for this. I don't know. I just hit the pre order button. I don't look like. I, I think it was fifty, which honestly seems like a good deal for how much is in here. This yeah, this is a very pretty uh, rainbow y It's not focusing, but. And I like that this is an evolution theme set because you know everybody likes evolutions, even if they're not really you know viable. Oh, nice, nice focus. Yeah. Even right. if they're not viable in the metagame of like actually playing Pokemon, like hopefully like they you know are usable enough in this. Uh, I opened an evolving skies pack because I bought a couple packs while I was on the phone with Bang a week or two ago, and there was like a Flareon V card or something in it that was all shiny and holographic and. That was cool, but you know it's a Flareon, so it's probably useless. But I'm hoping to see like a Glaceon or something I really like, like in these packs. So it's funny because before uh, we decided to do this video, I was like, okay, do I need to go get car protectors? Because I didn't know this pa these packs actually have like sleeves and stuff. And I was like, if I get something really good, I want to protect it. Um, these are actually really nice. I like how the background's a like a silvery type of look to it i imagine that's see-through yeah okay yeah mostly so that we can see what the card is because yeah. otherwise like we'd just be going through like each and every card protector trying to find what we want and that doesn't make so sense. i imagine as we open these we want to put the, the good ones to the side is that how this game works this, i mean that, uh... that makes sense to me like anything that looks holography or like hologrammy or gold or rainbow or something i think yeah we should pull to the side and i hear there's something called full art where like the artwork i don't know goes down further into the card or something we'll be able to tell the difference i think if we see something that looks different from everything else okay cool. that's my hope yeah so uh um, let's see here we've got what do we have like 10 packs like one two three looks like 10 yeah right, i so do remember <clears throat> i do remember that what you were saying how normal packs have eight but the pokemon center has 10 i do remember that uh except for that last set that i bought which was like the um chilling rain set where they advertised 10 they're like oh shit we forgot to put the 10 in there's actually only eight so and you have some extra cards you have opened a lot of pokemon packs in the past right like cards i mean your... i don't know if i opened a lot but i've opened like probably like two dozen or something pokemon center has 10 says justina wait is that her that said that wait who says this let me refresh this yeah, we're working from this amazing StreamYard oh, interface, whoever this is. Dylan Thomas. Has thank you, Dylan. Like, this StreamYard interface only shows us for every comment that comes up, Facebook user, which, which isn't really useful. So, Jake has to you, actually look. I imagine if you paid for the service, it, but it would conveniently show up all of a sudden. Is that but, true? Uh, Let me see here. I've got a button that says learn more. Can't read from Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Facebook groups info to see who commented ask your viewers to visit streamyard.com slash facebook streamyard will ask to access their facebook name and picture yeah no we're not we're not gonna have them do that so if that's okay with you like you can just um check them out for us and uh you know find out who's posting okay so dylan do you know the trick uh wait boo do you guys use twitch says justina no well <laughs> i i've used it before but i don't actively know is Twitch a um, is Twitch a thing? Like, I don't know. I think I've heard of it. But Twitch is meant for game streaming, but it's evolved into like things like this. You can it's like IRL chats and various things. I mean, um, if this goes well, we ever do another stream, like we can look into Twitch. But it's not something that uh, I know about. So, Dylan, I have a question. If did you know a lot about Pokemon cards? Because I'm I remember there's a trick where you're supposed to like open it from the back so you don't see the the face of the cards, and then you take like the third card and put it in the back and then look at the front. Is that how it goes? Cause that's supposed to be like the rare card of every pack. So that'd be like the most suspenseful, but I don't know. I don't know the trick myself. So, but, uh, open the pack, move three cards to the front and the fourth card is the energy. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So I've got a, 
I've got a pack here in my hands, and it's so got a. Should we should we take turns? Like you you open a pack. Yeah, let's take, let's take turns here, and I've got this okay. pack with a Gigantamax Duraludon on the front, and uh, you know I like it because I thought that this Pokemon was super cool and intimidating the first time I saw it. In it's a field. building. <laughs> I, I know. I was like, oh my god, it's the building Pokemon. That's so cool. This Pokemon is probably so amazing, and then I found out that it's you know it's garbage and it's useless and it's not viable. But I like it anyway. Like I don't know if I like it quite as much as the giant cake. Like, I thought that was pretty special, but so let me see. I'm going to try to open this pack, and I remember when I was opening those other packs that it was sort of difficult to put them up easily enough. So, so you're I'll opening from the out. back, right? So he said so, to take, so here's the, the DLC code. So I'll pull that, and then he said cards. one, mm -hmm. two, three to the front, I think mm -hmm. he said to do. So let's see what I've got here. So first up, I've got Fighting energy, not okay. exciting. Then I've got, oh, hey, I've got Sylveon V. That oh. seems pretty neat. Like, I don't know if that's a card that, you know, people care about, but it's kind of holographic, and I do like Sylveon, so I think that's cool to have. That's a cool first pool, because I don't count that fighting energy. Uh, Dylan can let me know if that's actually a card that, you know, is cool or not, but it looks good to me. Justina, you said you never pictured my voice to sound this way. Did, what do you expect? Higher pitched? Yeah, uh, I never pictured your voice to sound that way either. In fact, I'm always surprised every time I hear your voice that it sounds like that. So, Perfect card for what... dabs, says Justina. That was the perfect card for you. Oh, well, that, it's an early night. Like maybe I'm done. But uh, there's still more cards in this pack. So let's see what else I've got here. We've got, uh, this is sort of a Metalki card. It's a Zorua. Uh, it turns into Zoroark, that's like mimicky Pokemon that has a cool gimmick in Pokemon in the actual video games where, you know, when it first appears, it looks like whatever Pokemon is last in your party. So that's sort of neat to have. But like, I feel, I feel good about that uh, Sylveon. Um, next, we've got a Rufflet, which will turn into Braviary, oh. which is a Pokemon that I felt I could have liked until I tried to photograph it in Pokemon Snap. And like everywhere <laughs> that Braviary showed up, it just totally sucked trying to get photos of it. Oh. For me, someone said made a mistake. Product. Made a mistake. I meant move the three cards to the back. Oh, oh I got it wrong. Okay. That... Oh, as it turns out, I showed the best card. First. <laughs> I think was it. Does that mean the Sylveon? The was the best one, or not the Sylveon? The, the what's the fairy one name? That's Sylveon, right? Yeah, it's Sylveon. Okay, that so I guess that the, was I guess that was that must have been the best card. Okay, so yeah, they're they're saying Sylvia is the best of the pack. Okay, so now we know oh, that sucks, but we're still gonna look at all the other <laughs> cards that are in this pack. So I've got a basic pumpkaboo here, and it's got some interesting card artwork on here. Like, I don't know if this is claymation or what this is, but like it's clearly not usual uh video game artwork for this Pokemon. And uh, I actually did use a Pumpkaboo in my run through a Pokemon Sword, and I never evolved it. It just ran with the Eviolite, and uh, it was really useful up through uh, Killing Leon. So, you know, it's good to see Pumpkaboo here, and I'm sure that we're going to see this card a bunch more because it's a basic card uh, to show up in these packs. Uh, we've I got wouldn't Pikachu. Know. <laughs> we've got a Pikachu, and, you know, it's a Pikachu. He's in a field. He looks happy. Like I'm personally like someone who uh, I, I I personally don't really like Pikachu that much. I I think he's just oversaturated. He's everywhere. He, he's cute. Like Pikachu's fine. I just he's the mascot. I'm not. I've never yeah, liked the mascot of like any series. That's just me. I understand. I am also over Pikachu too. Let's see. Also, a bubble bursting tip too. If your code card is a green, your chance of a good card isn't good. LOL says mm. Dylan. What the hell is a code card? I don't, I don't know. What does that mean, <laughs> Dylan? You got to clarify for us, because I, I don't even know if I had a code card. Like, I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see what else I've got here. Okay, so we've got a Petalil. I got one of these when I opened a pack or two that I bought when I was talking to Bang on the phone, and it turns into a Lilligant or something. It was in the, um, the uh, DLC for Isle of Armor, and. You had to like return to its mother or something, and it was annoying. And I think it's just, you know, sort of a blah Pokemon. Uh, we've got a Slack Off single strike, and it's actually got some interesting artwork on here. And I don't know how like visible the artwork is 
like on my laptop here if the camera's picking up or not but like you know it looks cool like it looks very non-game like it's it's a slack off unfortunately it's gonna that's turn into cute that's so that's interesting uh skiploom skiploom it's the middle evolution of the hop up to jump off line and it's looking all happy here it's jumping up and down i used to abuse jump off so bad back in the gold silver and uh, ruby sapphire days until i mean it's extinct now in galler so what are you going to do it's been i don't know about it. i don't know about extinct i think i think they'd that the god of that Pokemon world just like got lazy and was like, no, nah, he doesn't need to be in this land. <laughs> no, I think they're, like, they're an invasive species or something. And I think over in Dallas, like, oh, nope, they you killed them all you, off. <laughs> you guys can't come in. Oh, okay. uh, we got Boldor, which, you know, it's fine. It's a Boldor. There's a lot of cards in these packs. I don't 10 know cards, I think. Any. Oh, I, wow. I mean, he looks pretty like aggressive and like ready to kill here. So, you know, cool Boldor. <clears throat> And the last card of my pack is uh, allegedly it's a trainer card. It's the Stormy Mountains, who, to my knowledge, cannot be a trainer as it is a local <laughs> and not a uh, you know it's not a person. But this card, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic lightning Pokemon or basic I don't know what this symbol Pokemon and put it onto their bench maybe it's a dratini picture then that player shuffles their deck so i don't know if anybody knows like what this card is or what that symbol is for but here's the stormy mountains and that is my uh first pack here but i feel good about that sylveon so yeah you know, that's cool if there's nothing good in the rest of these cards then in the rest of these packs maybe that sylveon makes it worthwhile it's a bit embarrassing but i actually don't really know how to open a pokemon pack correctly oh um, i know I, st I struggled with this the other day so so do you bend out. the Y? I think this is. Oh, uh, I just kind of fought with it, trying to like rip it until <laughs> until it went. There we go. I got it. Okay. All right. So how do I do this correctly from from the back? So do I have the code card on the back, and then I move... whatever, whatever the code card is. I still don't know what that means. So I'm gonna move uh, three cards. A compliment from... on your hat. Oh, thank you. Who said that? Oh, thank you, Dylan. Yeah, this is my Mirio hat. Power. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I take the three front-facing cards and move them to the back. I think that's how this goes. One, two, three. Okay, and then do I do I start pulling them from the this right here? Like I take this card and show it off. Is this is this the order? Right. Depths. Oh, I I thought they knew the order. I don't know the order. Oh, okay. Uh, remove the card. Oh, remove the code. Okay. Removing code. Then take the top three to the back. Okay. Remove I'll start the with the back card, card then. All right. It should be an energy. Oh, it should be an energy? I have a pumpkin boo. Pumpkin boo. Oh, you got right. the pumpkin boo bar card that I said was yeah. going to come up a bunch. My camera is both good and not also good at focusing, but there we go. Yeah, I can see boo. the claymation great. Yeah. That looks, that looks, actually, that's kind of cool. One thing I was hoping to get with these these cards is just really cool looking art because I'm a huge fan of the card art. Um, so let's put that to the side. Next card is Pikachu, the exact same one that Dabs just got. Looking happy, generic Pikachu. Everybody yes. loves generic Pikachu. Standing in a field, looking adorable. That's about what Pikachu usually does. Uh, I got uh, another card that Dabs also got. Uh, Patil? Patil? Petlil? Petilly? How do you say it? Petalil. Petalil, okay. I think. Yeah. I, I, Pet for, for, forgive me if I don't know a lot of these Pokemon offhand. He's Dabs is definitely the expert here. I just am very fond of the series. I don't uh, know as much. Did we get the same pack? I feel like we got like the same card. Well, so yeah, we got like the is same this, card. Is this so common, Dylan? Do are there <laughs> common packs, Dylan? Is he gonna also have a Sylveon? I I Oh, by the way, this pack did have a green code card. So according to Dylan, my chances of a good card are low. Oh, um, what my oh. Card code card was. We have our first different card. Uh, we have a Tentacruel. Classic, Gen 1. Uh, little focus. You got to put it all the way forward and then going to focus. There yep, there go. it goes. Yeah, very cool art. Cool Tentacruel. If anyone remembers the original uh, anime opening, there's one that's destroying a building. Classic. Uh, we have... Switching cups. I guess they do have beer pong cups in the Pokemon universe. That's Switching what they would look cups? like. 
Yeah. What, what, can you read the text for that? Yeah. What do these switching cups do? Switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. Okay, so I did. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so that seems kind to, of random and useless. You get to draw. Okay. A, you get to draw a card by putting and it hope your... it's better than whatever is in your yeah, hand. Yeah, that seems kind of shitty, honestly. Here's the energy card. It's just an electric energy card. Nothing special. Uh, I don't. What do, do you? So you, do you need these to attack? Is that is that what energy cards are for? Like you have to use one with an attack. Yeah, you need to. Um, if you look at your cards, like it will show like some of them. Like this skip room has like one like leaf on it, and that means that in order to use this oh. attack, you have to like use one like leaf energy thing. Okay. So your deck when you construct it has to have a certain number of the uh, energy type that you need. I just got a evolve form of the Pokemon I started with, or one of the earlier ones, a, a Lilligant. Which I have never owned in a game, uh, but it looks very cool. I like the art; the the palm trees in the back are is actually really cool. Um, yeah, very very cool. And then I have a shiny card. This is a Carvana, Carvanha. Uh, ah, Carvana will eventually yeah. turn into a Sharpedo. If you've played any of the Isle of Armor DLC, I'm guessing you haven't. Uh, you no, I have be... not. No. Oh, then, I, uh, then I guess I can't spoil it for you. But Sharpedo is. You can spoil it. it. You can spoil it. It's fine. Well, one of the scariest things that happens in the game is that, like, when you go to the Isle of Armor and you first go out like into the water, like, you get attacked of by the one? ocean, the there are Sharpedos everywhere, and they like haul ass after you, and oh. they are faster than you are. So all you can do is try to like boost away from them fast enough in order to get away. Okay. Otherwise, you're just being attacked nonstop. Oh, one of my favorite Pokemon. I actually love. I love this Pokemon. This is Lotad. Uh, little the little pad Pokemon. If it'll focus on him, uh, it does there, not go. oh, there it goes. Low tad. Uh, I don't think he's a great Pokemon or anything. I've never had him on my team, but I always liked the derpy face and the s simple design. Um, I, I imagine the life of a low tad is very peaceful and boring. Um, and then we have the supposed rarest card. Uh, I don't. Again, I don't know if I did the order right, but this does not look like a rare card. This is hey, it's Rufflet. Uh, Rufflet, yes. So, again, a Pokemon I've actually never owned. Um, cute, though. I like Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossoms are on the back of this card, so that's a plus. And, yeah. All right, that doesn't seem like that should have been the rarest card in the pack, so I think we, we must have gone astray somewhere. Yeah, we'll get after this right flip, one of these packs. <laughs> I also forgot to mention, after you flip the energy card, to look at the cards face up. Oh. This camera is amazing. You have a streamer-looking setup. Yeah, well, I, I do run a YouTube channel, so yeah, it is kind of part of the setup. I have like That's lighting and stuff. Talk. So while Jake talks, I'm gonna try to rip open this pack. There we go. I've got a uh, <clears throat> Quaza pack here. I think it's it's not Mega Rayquaza. I think it's just you know it's normal Rayquaza here. Oh, uh, should we move our? Should we put our shinies in like a separate pile? Is that how this game works? Oh, the uh, fancy cards. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna pile boxes, but I'm, I will put my Sylveon like up here somewhere so it's separated off from everything else. And that Zora card is kind of metallic, but I don't think it's special. So I just have that shark card that's kind of shiny. So I have. All right, so let me open mine up. And all right, so Dylan said, let's flip it. So to be, let's do this in focus on screen. I mean, I'm going to try. So is this my code card, Dylan? Like, this is the thing that's at the bottom, and it is, it, I guess it's green. By the way, Who's apologies yours? if I don't hold it right here. I have a I have a mic arm that's in the way, so I can't really hold the uh, hold deck. All right, so here's my good. code card. I guess it's green, which means that this pack's probably going to suck if, if uh, what Dylan tells me is to be believed. So I've got these flipped, and this is just a code card. So I'll pull that. I'll pull that out, and then I'll take three cards to the front. I think Dylan said. So I'm going to pull those three to the front, and then pull them from the back. We're going to go first. We've got okay. So it is, that is how you do it. It's the energy cards first. So that's all right. So right. electric energy, totally useless. I mean, not useless, but you know nobody cares. Talon Flame, uh, Pokemon that used to be good in the meta game in the actual video game, but totally sucks. That's now. a that's one of the Pokemon in uh, the Pokemon Unite game you can play as. Is right it? Now. Yeah. Is I it think, good or not? Uh, I think it's an attack. I think it's either like an attacking or mobility based uh, 
class. I haven't played. I haven't. I kind of dropped Unite. Uh, there's kind of a pay to pay to win thing going on right now. It's not that much fun. Um, a little bit disappointing. But all right, I've got. Wait, he says stop. You don't flip it that way. Uh, well, we'll get it right one of these packs. (laughs) All right, so we're gonna move back here. I've flipped it over the other way. So we've got trainer shopping center. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a Pokemon tool attached to one of their Pokemon into their hand. It is the shopping center. Okay, that's that's weird, but all right. You need to look at the images, then slide down to see the next card. You don't flip that way. We'll get at one of these packs. One of these packs. Dylan, you're going to have to be in time. here with us uh, <laughs> actually demonstrating this for us because, you know, we, we don't know what we're doing. So uh, next up, I've got Herdier, which evolves from Lily Pop. Uh, this is that Scotty Dog uh, thing Cute. from Alola. It, it's fine. It's going up some steps or something. It's got some, you know, plant life, some leaves or something blowing at it. And, you know, it's fine. But I don't particularly like that evolutionary line, and I don't care about it. Uh, we've got Pyroar, the evolution of Litleo. This was weird because I got a Pyroar, or I got a Litleo in Pokemon Go, and I had no idea what it was. And when it evolved into this thing, that's Pokemon I was Sun, shocked. right? That was like that was the cover Pokemon for Pokemon Sun, right? No, or Sun it is Two. Not. Sun no. Two. No? no, this is a regular Pokemon. The thing for uh, Pokemon Sun is some sort of lion that evolves from spoilers that. Uh, there's something called Cosmog, which is like this like cloud of like psychedelic like <laughs> cloudiness, okay. and it's like one of the mascot characters for the game. And I never finished Pokemon Sun, so when I looked it up at like two years later and found out that it evolved into the legendaries for that game, both the bat and the lion, that was like a shocking moment for me. <laughs> hmm. And I've spoiled it for anybody who didn't know that, but I assume everybody else knows that by now. All right, we've got Hitmonchan from the Kanto region, red, blue, love yellow. That Pokemon. I love Hitmonchan classic ah uh, poor hitman he's never been good but like he's cool i like the boxing design i like how he's punching that water right there very cool doing some training yeah it's cool and like i like that uh you know he gets the elemental punches now so that's sort of interesting he's not the most garbage pokemon like he used to be repeat i've got my own low tad not as nice. cool as jake's low tad because you know we're not bonded like that <laughs> but here's one that's got some good card art, and it's a Sableye. And I like how he's like gremlin looking, like he's like going through this cavern with all these like, jewels a... and stuff behind him. Wasn't he really good in the meta game at one point? And like he doesn't the... have any, he didn't have any weaknesses, uh... which made him like really scary in the meta game for a while. Even though he was slow and he didn't have great attacks, because you know if you don't have any weaknesses, it seems like you're really good, even if you're not. Yeah. Um, Mega Sableye was really good when Megas were a thing, but unfortunately, uh, Pokemon Company decided that people like Mega Pokemon too much and they needed to cash in on Gigantamax Pokemon, which are, mm. you know, not as cool. Oh, I've got another good card art here, and it's really cute. It's a Teddy Ursa, which nice. is... Oh, a that's cute. That's like, cute. I've always really liked Teddy Ursa. I've always been sad that it turns into this derpy Ursa ring that... You know, has a high attack, but is slow and crappy and not very exciting. But like Teddy Ursa. Oh, Bang's here. Really he cute. says, whoa. Huh. What's up, Bang? Uh, I got a bong? Movie? Did, did he tell you in person if it was Bong or Bang? Because I, well, You know, Jeremy tried to tell me what it was. And we, we went through it and I tried to pronounce it like three dozen times. And, you know, none of it's stuck. And like, I've, I've been trying to pronounce it in my unboxings, but. Uh, apparently, I've been getting it wrong, and I just don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna say bang. I'm gonna say bang until he yells at me. Yeah, I like so. bang too. That, that's how I'm. That's how I've always said it, and that's how I'm gonna say it. I've got Mareep here. Everybody loves Mareep. Uh, I've got my. I like the evolve form more. I like the I've got my Mareep more. with me. I got Emerald City Comic Con uh, back in 2018, 2019. Nope, it is definitely not a custom. Oh, that bugs like, this is a, impressive. Uh, no, it's not custom. It was made by Tomy, I think. I mean, it's Ben Presto. It's a Ben Presto product, like uh, you know those Manga Dimensions figures and a lot of the MHA stuff that comes up. Yeah. And uh, last thing in this pack is this Lit Leo, which I can use with my High Roar that was also in this pack. And you know, it's kind of uh, metallic coated, but I suspect that as far as metallic coated goes, this is one of the last desirable ones. So, we have a uh, we have six viewers. For anyone who's joining late, Dabs is on his second pack of ten, so we're still early on in this uh, 
this process. And I've opened one pack. Yeah, I got one good card so far. I got this Sylveon V. It was the first thing I drew after mm -hmm. a random fighting energy, which I'm told is, you know, decent. So I'm glad to have seen it. This is the only good card I got that was shiny. Well, it's not even that shiny. Nothing good, Bang. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Well, I think my Sylveon is pretty cool. I like we'll Sylveon. Uh, we'll move on to Jake's second back. Oh, okay. I, sh I should probably start trying to open this beforehand because of how terrible I am at opening this. Uh, I'll hopefully not disappoint Dylan this time with how I open or how I arrange these. Okay. All right. So I remove the energy, right? Or the, the code the code card. Okay. What color is the code card? Is it green? It's not the same green card. It's a different. It's a different. It's like black edged, and it's. it's oh, that's than, interesting. Yeah, uh, it is still technically green, I guess. Um, okay, so three cards to the back. So, is it? Wait, how did you do it? So this is how. This is the top. How did you do it? Just now. I mean, I turned them upside down, and mm. I pulled off the code card, and I took the three upside down, and I put them to the front, and. And then oh, that was wrong. So, okay. So I should do the opposite way. So. Wait, I think you take the three from the back, put them to the front, and then flip it. Oh, wait. What do you mean flip it? Oh, okay. Wait, so from the... Wait, All right, so have, have, it so that, have it so that the backs are facing you. Pull the okay. three, put them to the front, and then flip the whole thing. So from the from this, like, to the... Like that? Like I think so. Okay. One, two. We want to get this right for Dylan. He's very, he's very mad at us. Why is your hair oh, he said, orange? He, he tweet, said Garrett. no. I think it's three what? from the front and move those to the back. Okay, I'll try this again. I go one, two, three. Okay, so then you want one, two, three from the front. I presume that's the back, and then flip them. Okay. All right. Let's see how this works. First card, Teddy Ursa. Same one as Dab just got. Cute. Not much else to say. Uh, we have a Pokemon that I'm sure Dabs likes because it just feels like something he would like. Uh, Cryogonal. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Ah, Pokemon. Cryogonal. This <laughs> weird. It's some sort of weird ice type. I think it was. I think it originates in Alola. Don't quote me on that. Mm. But it's just some weird, like ice snowflake-looking evil thing that. I was disappointed was not in Sword Shield, but it showed up in the Crown Tundra DLC, <laughs> so all is right with the world. But it's useless. Right. So we actually have a Pokeball. Uh, it's a Dream Ball. It's a shiny, really? shiny card. Uh, you can play this card only if you took it as a face-down prize card before you put it into your hand. Uh, search your deck for a Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Then sh You have a bench in Pokemon? Apparently... <laughs> Okay, then shuffle your deck. I, I will never understand the uh, rules behind Pokemon, I guess. Um, we have a somewhat shiny Raichu, which is kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it's just, definitely metallic -y, like. I'm, I wish my camera... My camera is so focusing. good, it, it doesn't focus sometimes. There we go. Oh, it's going. There it goes. Yeah. Kind of cool. Uh, Raichu. Everyone knows Raichu. Classic Pokemon. And I, you, got, you can do the evolve from. I, I like Raichu and Minel and Plusle more than Pikachu, if I'm being honest. Uh, and then now I have an energy card. So I think this is the fourth card I've done from this deck. So this seems to be the right pace, I think. Um, it is an fighting energy. Uh, we have a Hippo, Hippo Don. Uh, this is a it's how I, say. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, this is a Pokemon I used briefly in um, Pokemon X, I think. Which one had the deer on the front? Is that Pokemon X? Zer yeah, that's Pokemon X. Xerneas. This gnat is uh, flying around me right now, being a little bit annoying. I knew it would be the second we started. Uh, we have a Golduck, the evolved form of Psyduck. Classic Pokemon. Kind of cool, simple art. I think. I don't really have any relation to Golduck or Psyduck. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. We have another card we've seen from Dabs. This is that little Scottish Terrier uh, Herdier. Um, again, pretty straightforward. 
We have uh, Bagon. I, I have no connection to this Pokemon whatsoever. I don't think it's very cute. Uh, I don't like dinosaur-looking Pokemon. I don't... Uh, they just usually don't vibe with me. But, I mean, he's uh, going to be a dragon eventually. Oh, yeah. This one kind of looks more like a dinosaur, like one of those hard-headed dinosaurs you'd see pictures of. Uh, we have... Oh, this is... I think this is uh, the one... The prior evolution to uh, the one that Dabs just got. This is... Uh, Little Leo? Little Leo. Little Leo. Yeah, I've never, again, never had this Pokemon on, on a team. And I just dropped the card. Hopefully it's not valuable. I doubt yeah, I've never seen a Little Leo in my life until it showed up in Pokemon Go. Because I just didn't get that far in Pokemon Sun. And it wasn't in Sword Shield, so. Okay, and then I ended with a low tab. So, nothing nothing really that good in this pack. Um, so maybe it was a green card. Yeah, maybe. Well, he said it was. That's the one you want. Uh, from the one. Oh, I we had. want the green. But that w nothing was special in this pack that I. I guess the Raichu I mean, maybe. The Raichu had some metallic on it. Yeah, I'll put that in the side. I guess. Oh, I said the Dream Ball is all shiny. I'll put that over here. I guess. But, and everybody I mean, loves Dream Balls. Like, you only get one of those like in your quest in Sword Shield. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Next up, I've got this pack of Sylveon, and I've pre oh, I should, it, so I, I, should, play with it. I should mention that I did just open the Sylveon pack. Um, I don't know if they're the same, the one that Dabs and me are opening, but they're the same cover. Well, it must be pretty similar because I'm starting with the Lotad that you just finished with. Okay, let's find out, so I guess. Extra Lotad. It seems like there aren't that many... Uh, cards in this particular set dylan is there like a limited number of uh cards basic cards like you know like 40 or 50 or something that we're just going to keep seeing repeats or like so here's my code card and it is i guess it's green i think these are all the same like i'm not convinced that they're not all going to be the same uh, if anybody wants my dlc code and is watching you know here it is you can uh you know get something for the online game with this dlc code uh three cards from the back put See, them Dylan says there's the a front. shitload of cards a lot okay well then we are just you know being very uh, lucky in the insane cards over and again so uh let's I'm gonna pull these three cards to the front and then i'm going to flip it all right so i've got fletchinder which is the secondary uh form of the thing that will eventually be talon flame and it's actually kind of interesting card art. Like, it's a cool, like, fire, like, woodpecker-looking thing. Like, this is kind of interesting. Yeah. It's too bad the Talon Flame is super ugly, but it is what it is. Uh, I've got another shopping center. I haven't gotten a trainer card yet that actually has a trainer on it, which is weird. The green-white card Jake got usually has the big hitters in it. The, I don't have show the me big your, hitters. Can you show one. me your oh, green and yeah. white card, Jake, so I yeah, can see what is, I uh, want? This was definitely different. Uh, oh, okay. So mine is really different from yours. That's that. Those are the ones you don't want. That's like the all green one, I guess. And okay, I, that, so, was my, that was that was my first pack had. So, all right. So I've got a lantern. You know, Johto alumni from. I Gold love that Silver. Pokemon. I love most water Pokemon. I just think they're the cutest of all Pokemon. And uh, looks great. Like I love the designs. I was a little bit traumatized in a Pokemon Snap when those uh, jellyfish monsters like grabbed a lantern and were. You know, trying to molest it or whatever they were doing, but you save it so they can lead you to Lugia in some weird roundabout way. Uh, we got an Amolga, a Pokemon that was a total pain in the ass to get pictures of in uh, Pokemon Snap until it was no longer a pain and it just stood there for you in the DLC. It's a weird uh, manga style uh, card art for this, but you know, this is a Pokemon that I always would like to like that just isn't very good. <laughs> I've uh, got another claymation style art. This one's for Wubat. Here's Wubat. Uh, it's a psychic type. And uh, does Wubat you know, evolve into Zubat and stuff? Or, it turns into know? Swubat, Swubat, which is this derpy looking bat thing. I wish it turned into Zubat and you know Crobat and better Pokemon, but Crobat's it a classic. I like Crobat. We've got Gossifler from uh, Sword Shield, which is the evolution of. I actually use a, 
I actually do have a connection to that card. I, I, that's the evolution of the uh, the puffy white one, uh, Edelglass, Edelgoss, or Eldegoss. That's what it is. Yeah, Eldegoss. Yeah, <laughs> I knew uh, something. Yay! So. <laughs> uh, Good job, Jake. Oh, here's yeah. a Pokemon I do like. It's a Phoebus. I really like Phoebus. I think it's cute. I think it's you know I think it's unfortunate. It turns into Melodic, which is all beautiful and stuff. Uh, but like uh, that's like my favorite Pokemon of of recent years. I love Milotic. Uh, I just I thought you were know. gonna say Phoebus, but that's okay. No, Phoebus is cool. I I like the the ugly Pokemon turning into the beautiful Pokemon, like the the Magikarp turning into Gyarados type situation. Um, I always like that. <clears throat> All right, for my shiny card, I also have a Carvana. I think that you have a Metallic -y Carvana as well. I think that was your yes. first Metallic -y card. Yeah, and you know it, it looks pretty good. It's got yeah. cool uh, colors behind it for the sea floor. It's it's looking nice. Like hopefully we. Draw some Sharpedos to evolve those into. And uh, then I've got a Lilligant to evolve my Petalil with, which, as you said, has nice palm has nice uh, palm tree card art on it. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a Grass Basic Energy. So clearly I did not uh, do this the way that Dylan wants me to do it. Dylan says, I sent you a video to be. I sent it on Messenger. Is it actually called Carvana? I, let me look at it again. Carvana. That, I mean, it looks like Carvana to me. If there is a different pronunciation for it, like you might know better than me, but that's that's just how I've always read it. So I'm gonna watch Dylan's video on my phone while Jake gets his uh, next pack ready to go here. I just suck at opening these. That is something I've discovered in this stream. But hey, we can't be good at everything. There we go. This is what you do. <clears throat> Get rid of it. One, two, three, <laughs> go back. Energy, and then you flip them this way. This last card is supposed to be your hits. Oh, tim has got better hits than we do. All right. Uh, all right, so. All right, so here's here's the back. This is what you do. All, all right, right, so take, pull that out. Okay, take pull that out it. completely. Okay. One, and then and you're going to take the one, three two, Pokeballs three. facing you. Can I wonder if I can. Let me just pull this back. This is what you do. Get rid of it. One, two, three. Get it back. Okay, simple. Energy. That's easy. And then you flip them this way. This last card is supposed to be your hits. One, two, three. And then I flip All right, thank the, you, Dylan. And then I flip the... I fl after I move the three, I flip the top one that's now on the top. Flip the top one. It should be your energy. Yep, it is. Okay. And then I just open them that way, like going down this way. From uh, the... then, I think you flip it so that you whatever is face up is what you pull first. Okay. All right. Cool. There we go. All right. Uh, by the way, the the card I did get the bad quote unquote one, so I guess that's fine. Yeah. Uh, energy card. It was fire energy. Nothing to write home about there. Uh, we have a sun and moon badge. I assume this is from Sun and Moon. Uh, focus there we go uh it says if pokemon v this card is attached to has an espion or umbreon in its name whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand prevent all effects of that card done to that pokemon no clue what that is gibberish that's a, that's another trainer <clears throat> card yes yeah, that's a trainer I, card uh viewers are there any actual trainers like in this or are all the trainer cards going to be like weird locales and items and stuff uh and then I got same card as Dabs, the uh, Pyroar Lion thing. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of lions. I I'm not that guy who thinks Lion King Disney movies overrated. Um, oh, okay. We actually have a very cool looking. Uh, I've never used this Pokemon, but I like his design a lot. Uh, Vigoroth. Uh, very cool, colorful card. He's punching with some energy. Um, Definitely one I want to use on my team, but I don't know if he's even in Sword and Shield. I've always liked his design, though. Um, very cool. We have a Wobbuffet doing Wobbuffet stuff. Kind of looks like he's headbutting something. Some effects around him. Or uh, being hurled at something, like in anger, because he's so useless. Yes. Uh, I'm very fond of this Pokemon, because I like all Pokemon that James has had, for the most part, in the anime. I always think they're really adorable and fun comedic reliefs. Um, we have a Love Disc, which I remember being very annoying, because uh, 
short story when i had pokemon x i think i was trying to hunt for a wild shiny starmie which i did get eventually but there was a really? lot of i did yeah i it took me many hours but i sat there fishing for a, a shiny and i got one um which was really really cool but i got a lot of love disc uh that were caught on the line and i'll never forget that so uh a Dwebble, very cute little crab Pokemon. Uh, Irma crab. Focus. There we go. There it goes. Uh, yeah, cute little Pokemon. Never used him, but uh, nice comic book style artwork for him. Yeah, very cool. I imagine that's not a rare card or anything. Uh, we have a another Hippopotas. Wait, did I have a different one before? I think you I had Hippodon. This is his yeah. uh, his uh, earlier form. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So not, for when we don't play this game, you'll be able to uh, evolve that into the uh, evolved form. Yeah. Uh, we have a... I think Dabs had this one earlier. This is a Zoru... What's it called? Uh, it's a Zorua? I think so. Again. Yeah, eventually it'll, turn into like, eventually it'll turn into like a furry and it'll be like a biped and it'll be a Zorua. Like, how ways to make this focus better? I think as... Look, we keep pushing it forward. I think it'll eventually focus. Nope, it's I'm very wrong. it's very picky. Anyway, we've seen the card on the stream before. Uh, we have oh, we have a legendary Pokemon. We have really, uh, yeah, we have Entei. Oh, and it's a shiny. It's kind of the same shiny effect that that shark Pokemon had, where the the flame in the background is, is shiny. It's hard to it's hard to see the shiny on my camera versus Dabs. I think it's just because the lighting is so harsh on my my setup but uh and your camera's yeah. too good my camera sucks so <laughs> it focuses a little bit better like um ente pokemon i actually do kind of like i i really enjoyed him in the uh second poke was it the second poke no third pokemon movie um my favorite pokemon movie the one with the unown i i am pokemon 2000 uh homer i think pokemon 2000 is probably my favorite uh i i don't know i just i felt i i felt, I, I like tracy a lot tracy's in that movie right tracy's in the Pokemon 2000? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I actually like Tracy a lot. Um, and then we know in the car that's nothing crazy. It's an alt. Uh, it's like that. Altaria. Altaria, yeah. Oh, so. somebody says bedtime. Good night to whoever you are. Like, like I said, like within. Um, oh, Furman. Yard, that's that's oh, Furman. Furman. Good night, <laughs> Furman. Thank you for staying up late for us. Yeah. So this this pack was pretty good. I got a cool Entei. Uh, let me see if I got it. I don't think I got anything else. But the Ante was Ante was cool. I also, yeah, just Ante. I was shiny from that one. But that's cool with me. I like Ante. Ante is a good one. I also like this Vigoroth. Vigoroth is cool. Yeah, seems like you got some good stuff. I'm I'm still feeling good about the first card I pulled that Sylveon. Maybe that's yeah, gonna be that. my best thing of the whole night. <laughs> uh, All right, so I'm feeling lucky here. I've got this Umbreon pack here. It's got some Umbreon cover art. I think there's more like four different pack covers. Yeah, I just opened the Rayquaza one. I, I keep forgetting to show them off. I think it's. I think it might be Rayquaza, Sylveon, Gigantamax, Duraludon, and Umbreon. I think those are the four. Yeah, we've That's now we've one. now seen them all. I think. All right, so I've got them. So here's the green and white that Dylan told me was hey, good. So go. theoretically, there's gonna be something good in this pack, and if they're not, then you know Dylan was wrong. So I'm gonna flip this top card. Oh no, nope, I'm not gonna flip that top card. So I'm gonna take one, two. Three cards to move to the front. I'm gonna flip this top card. It's the I don't I think this is dark energy. I don't think it's water energy. I think this is dark energy. Is that steel? Is there such a thing as steel energy? I don't know. Isn't that a type of Pokemon? Oh, there's steel Pokemon, but like there are not that many energy types in this game. Like there's no such thing as ice uh -oh. energy. Like it uses like water energy. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense to me how they did it in the card game. Okay. I mean, it's because you can only have a certain number of cards in your deck, and it'll be a pain if there were like 17 or 18 different types, but it's confusing. All right, yeah. so I'm going to flip this over. So I have got my own Dream Ball. It's not shiny like yours, but, you know, I imagine it does the same thing. Yep. And I've got the Stormy Mountains, which I believe I saw earlier as a which trainer Which isn't a card. trainer. It's not a trainer. but Well, I haven't seen any trainers yet. I think that there's just not many trainers these days like pokemon's just not the profession it used to be i've got another boldor that's the this third one three... we've seen yeah this is a three pokemon family and we haven't seen the first or mm, third forms of this i don't think so hmm. i guess we won't be able to play it when we don't play 
I've got another Zorua. It is not shiny this time, but you know, it looks cute enough. I've got a plushie of this, and there was a movie with this Pokemon, but it's not that exciting. Tentacruel, I can evolve into your Tentacruel. Nice. Never been a fan of that Pokemon. I always like Tentacruel uh, a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly uh, what Tentacruel is doing here on this card art where he's like... Jumping you know, out of his, the water, maybe? His, waving hello what's going to, on here? Waving hi, hi to his ship. I don't know. It looks so pissed. It's got these like angry eyes on it. Like, <laughs> I've got a Hoppip to go with my Skiploom from earlier. Hopefully, I pull a jump off. This is Rapid Strike Hoppip. I do like this. Uh, this was the first grass uh, flying type family. Uh, I've got a Dino, which is the first form of that like multi-headed dragon thing. Is that the one that Pokemon I pulled? That... I don't think so. Oh, okay, a different one. Okay. I think you pulled Bagon, right? Yeah, I did. This is Dino. He's a dark dragon, and eventually he'll be like a Hydro dragon. Uh, I've got another Mareep. Nice. And let's see. I've got a shiny card of a. It's a metallic Chin Chow to go with my lantern. Oh, cool. I really like Chin Chow. I've always really liked Chin Chow. Like, I know that family is not terribly useful in game, besides the fact that they can either have water absorb or volt absorb, which is cool. But uh, you know, it's a it's a neat shiny card. I'll I'll enjoy having it in my binder. And for my last card, I've got uh, I don't know, maybe this is decent. It is a I think this is a full card art because the card art seems to go like oh, way down on the cool. card. It's nice. a Medicham V. Uh, right. And, you know, it's interesting card art here. It's got a puzzle and a jump off and a uh, Sizzlepeed, a Cloyster, and some other stuff on here. You should like, show that again. I kind of want to see. Yeah, so it's it, this is a metallic -y card. It's full card oh, art. Uh, that's Medicham a good art. V. I like that. So hopefully this is a cool card and that's a good you know, card says, uh, Dylan. Oh, thank you, Dylan. We appreciate knowing that. Uh, I think I have the card odds like somewhere saved on my phone. Uh, let's see here. Card art, full art, one in thirty-seven pool rate. So you know that seems pretty decent because there's only ten packs in here. So we only had a one in like four chance or something of getting a full card art. In one of my packs so you know cool to have and uh that is it for that particular pack okay i guess i'm up i this time i preemptively opened my packs so and i'm fumbling around for 30 seconds uh i got to the quote-unquote bad uh card you don't want that's a bad sign i guess but i Doo -doo. don't do yeah i <laughs> and then uh so one two three going to the front first card energy card this is psychic energy right or dark is this dark I think energy? That's psychic. Psychic. Okay. Oh. All right. So psychic energy. Nothing crazy to report there. All right, so then, according uh, to my stats here, my full art Metacham is a one in nine hundred seventy-two packs chance. That so, is really good. That sounds really good, actually. Uh, it sounds good. I don't know if that means anything. Or one in nine hundred and seventy. That's a lot. That's a lot more than we have. Um, all right. So I have a crustal. I don't know. I think one of us has shown a crustal tonight already. You got uh, Dwebel, which is the uh, pre right. the pre version of Crustal. Okay, so we got Crustal there. Cute Pokemon. I don't really use plan on ever using that Pokemon, but we have another Sun and Moon badge. So that's the second one I've gotten. Um, for if we just, get an Espeon and Umbreon, you can attach that. Yeah, just for the sake of uh, speed purposes, if I get a duplicate of a lame trainer card, I'm not going to wait to focus the card. I'm just going to probably go through it fast we have a dream catcher oh we have a, we have a toy card uh a what switch, a it, it looks it's a toy catcher it's a trainer card it's a gun it's a laser oh something okay That's switch, new. One, switch one of your opponent's benched pokemon that has 50 hp or less remaining with your opponent's act i okay every card i read makes me not want to play the card game <laughs> it sounds way too complicated um we have a fletchling Cute little Pokemon. All right, so that completes uh, our set between the two of us for that uh, bird, for that family. It won't focus, but yeah, it's, a, it's it's pretty average art. Nothing really spectacular art about this. Um, we have another tentacool that we just saw from Debs. I noticed some cards just Doing automatically something? focus, and then other ones don't. I think it just might be based on the color. I don't know. 
Another Pikachu. This is our third Pikachu staying in a field, doing nothing, being cute. Uh, it's the yep, third one, not shiny or anything. Uh, we have a C dot, which I always thought was one of the cuter, simpler Pokemon out there. Um, probably nothing good in the competitive scene, but C dot. Well, he also turns on that horrific, like Freddy Krueger looking tree. So like... that is that is true. Um, oh, I've never seen this Pokemon. I don't think that's it's a little pup, uh, little dog Pokemon. I'm not really familiar with this one, but yeah, you got cute. his uh, you got his evolution. The uh, oh, the terrier, two. the Scottish terrier one. Yeah, you got Herdier, and then there's one more that we haven't pulled yet. Okay, that's a cute Pokemon. Kind of like that one. We have another C dot, but this one is shiny. I have two C dots in one pack, but this one's a shiny one. Oh, is it normal to get two of the same Pokemon in one pack, Dylan? Or I, anybody else who's watching? So I yeah, I have two C dots in this pack, but one is a shiny. That's cool, I guess. Put that right there. And then the okay, here we go. Uh to go with Dab's Mareep, we have uh Ampharos, uh regular. This is the evolve form, right? Of, uh, Marie. Yeah, that's that's the uh, level three form. The I, middle one is Fafi, which has no fur and is pink. I have always loved this Pokemon's design. I'm a very big fan. I think it's actually very cute. And uh, yeah, is that card Metalki? No, this one's just regular. But but uh, the that they warned me beforehand it would be a, a crappy card at the end with this uh, green thing. So ah, I mean that's nice though. Yeah. All right, Dylan says you can get the Halo and the Reverse Halo back to back. Of course, I'm hoping to get a like Pokemon that I love, like a Milotic, or even or even just any sort of cool shiny Pokemon. I'd like to get. I mean, it seems like Milotic must be in here because uh, because there's a Feebas. Yes, that's true. One with also, that. I would, I hope I get a Vaporeon. I bought a pack with Vaporeon on it because it had Vaporeon, so I'd like to get one. Vaporeon, that'd be nice. But uh... all right, so I'm opening up a Rayquaza pack here, and all right, so I've got the shitty code card. So keep our expectations low. <laughs> then I'm going to pull one, two, three to the front. I'm going to flip this, and this is a Steel Energy, I think. Okay. It's the first time I've seen this, but uh, it's it's silver. It must be Steel Energy, I think. And uh, I'm going to flip the whole thing over. So we're going to start out with a trainer that is, again, it's not a trainer. We haven't seen this one before. This is the Snow Leaf Badge, <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, if the Pokemon V this card is attached to has Leafeon or Glaceon in the name, well, we'd have to pull one of those. It has uh -huh. no retreat cost and no weaknesses. Well, that seems weird, but okay. Very situational. That's fine. Hippowdon. We've nice. seen it. Jake had it. Uh, I don't think I have the uh, Prevolution just yet, but hopefully I get one. Here's a Braviary, and uh, we've each had a Rufflet. This is what the Braviary card in this set looks like. Um, I mean, card art's fine. It's just it's just kind of just hovering in the air. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really interested. Like, I was disappointed to see in that new Arceus game that there's going to be another regional Braviary, but it's going to be a crappy... Uh, Psychic flying type like Zatu and Sigilif and a bunch of other things. So, you know, that was disappointing. Uh, we've got another Pumpkaboo. We've got another Carvana, this time not metallic -y. We've got another Gossifler. Uh, we've got, this is my first time getting a Fletchling so I can complete that Flaming Woodpecker line. Uh, we got a Pokemon that I really like. This is Scraggy. Uh, the shiny version of Scraggy I like a lot because he looks like Lars from Steven Universe to me. <laughs> or the uh, fine, the uh, evolution of Scraggy, uh, anyway. But, uh, you know, he's a dark fighting type. He's got a weird look to him. I like the way that he's, like, holding up his, like, two big pants. Like, I don't know, I think it's a cool Pokemon. He's pure dark in the cards. And, you know... It's interesting card artwork of him uh, working out here with some exercise equipment behind him. So glad to see Scraggy. Hope to see his evolution. Uh, second last here, I've got my shiny card here is a Drampa. And Drampa is a one-form uh, dragon. That it's I think that it's Apple one, right? It's that Apple that evolves nope. into that? Oh, Drampa no. is like this Asian dragon. I think he's from Sun and Moon. I first saw him in Sword Shield myself, but like, he was pretty cool there. It's really slow. It's like this Grandpa dragon. It's in the uh, foggy woods in Pokemon Snap. Okay. 
but yeah, it looks cool enough. It's nothing special. And for my last card, I do have the Milo Tick that wow, you want, hey. Dick. Uh, if you don't pull one, you know, I'll send it over to you because, you Very know, cool. I know you like this a lot more than I do. And, I do. you know, it's got pretty artwork. I liked it in Pokemon Snap when we were taking photos of it. It was a little bit annoying trying to get it to light up, but, yeah, you know, cool. cool card. And uh, that's what's in that pack. Okay. Uh, I've already opened mine. I got the Thrill Killer card. Uh, Doo -doo. Yeah, very, very awesome to see that. Our energy card is Leaf. Classic. Everyone knows Leaf. Uh, and then we have a Golduck. That's my second Golduck of the day. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on that. Uh, we have a Trainer card. Boost Shake. Uh, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon. Uh, shuffle your deck. You can use this card during your first turn. This this okay. card seems useless. It seems like it's nothing. It's it's just a shake bottle of like drink okay. of some kind. Someday uh, we might see a trainer. <laughs> we have a Rabombi. Uh, oh really? Cute, cute little. Uh, I've, I've never used this Pokemon. I don't know much about it, but it's cute. I like the design. Yeah. We have a Gloss of Floor. I think this is my first one. I think you had one earlier. Uh, yeah. Cool have we card. seen an Edelgoss? Did you get one? Uh no, we don't have an no one, none of us have gotten Edelgoss yet. Um Oh, I have my Phoebus. Finally. Maybe it's a sign that I'll get my Latic as well. Uh nothing shiny about it, just a normal Phoebus. Ah, so beautiful. <laughs> we have another Hippopotus. Hippopotopus. Uh we've seen a few of these already. Nothing crazy. Another little pup. Uh, again, for the repeat cards, I'm not gonna. If it doesn't focus right away, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, we have a uh, Nicket, the fox, the sneaky fox Pokemon. Uh, oh, I really like those because uh, Score Bunny's posse when he's introduced in Pokemon Journeys, like, oh, is a couple yes. as a trio of Nickets that he steals food for. Uh, I think it's scones from the French bakery. It's a very cool art too, laying in front of a bunch of purple flowers. It's very fitting. Uh, I have a shiny, uh, I think Dabs got this card earlier, but this is a shiny Slakoth. Uh, the one who's hanging from the ledge. This one is That's shiny, a, though. It's a Slakoth. It'll evolve into the uh, Vigoroth that you liked. Okay, cool. Put that in the shiny pile. And I have an Appleton. The big fat uh, apple of evolution. Like a turtle dragon thing. I'm not really. Uh... Oh man, I love Appleton. That is my favorite <laughs> dragon type. Like, usually really? I don't like yeah. dragons, but like when I saw this apple pie looking thing, and it like, kind of looks like Spike from uh, My Little Pony a little bit, like the face, like the cartoony kind of like expression face. I don't know. It's kind of funny. It's pretty lovable, and that's like the version that's easy to evolve in your Pokemon Shield. So, and that is uh, that is it for my pack. That was nothing spectacular, but I did get one shiny. So. All right, so I've got a uh, Sylveon pack here. We're going to open up. And we keep having our shiny card being one before our last card. So I think I'm going to pull four four cards from that. That might, be, that might be due to these cards having more in the pack, right? Because these, so I think these have extra cards in the packs. So. Yeah. Okay, so. So yeah, do four right, so, cards. All right, so I have got oh, hey. the better nice. code card, which... I mean, I just don't understand why they would do it that way. That seems weird to me, but all right, so we're going to go one, two, three, pull to the front, and then this should be the energy, and this time it is Psychic Purple Energy. Okay. So I'll pull that over here, and then... And move one more to the front. I'm going to move one more to the front, and we'll see if that makes any difference. Yeah. So that's what we've got here. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is my shiny card, and <laughs> this is a Reggie Drago which was one of the two new uh, Reggies from Pokemon Sword Shield. Is it the DLC? I think it's the DLC for... Um... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's the uh, the, the, sh the uh, ice one, the Snowy yeah. Isles or whatever. Uh, uh, the uh, Crown one. Tundra. Crown Tundra, yeah. I think uh, it's in well, that. I'm, I'm surprised to see this because I didn't know it was here. I would have preferred Reggie Alecki because, you know, it's electric type and it's more fun to say. But like... Uh, so now we, know, a... now we know the shiny card is... That is the spot for it. And yeah, back, I just, but it's just I've just been doing it wrong, like somehow. 
So it looks cool. Like, I mean, Reggie Drago is sort of a weird Pokemon. It's pink thing with like dragon head, like a dragon's head ripped in half as its arms. Like, yeah. But let me pull that over here to the side. Uh, I've got the Crystal Cave as a trainer card. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from each of their steel Pokemon and some symbol, I think, dragon Pokemon. Cool. Once again, okay, a, that's... a trainer that isn't a trainer card. No, we have gotten no trainers yet as of the uh, as of all these packs. Here's a family we haven't seen yet. It's Avalug, the uh, stage two Pokemon. It's the um like iceberg type Pokemon. It's you know it's that big flat thing that floats around in Sword Shield and also in uh, Pokemon Snap. It's a nice card art. <laughs> uh, I mean that Pokemon kind of underwhelmed me, but. It's fine. Uh, we've got a snow leaf badge, just like like Jake had, or like I had. Somebody had before. You had that one. Wait, uh, I think I had that one. Yeah, that was me. Uh, here's a weird one. This is from one of the Pokemon games I did not play much, but this is a Flabebe. Uh, I think that this is the one that like some trainer oh. had, and it was like their beloved Pokemon. That and one's in it... the first level of Snap, I think. The very first level, I think. Is it? Uh, I remember it was in uh, one of the Pokemon games, the core games, and some trainer had it like as a kid, and it died or it lost or something, and he went batshit crazy and was trying to like destroy the world, or he was trying to do something crazy. It was black and white or X and Y or something. So, yeah, that's the only thing I know about that Pokemon. Here's a Swablu that'll turn into that Altaria that you oh, pulled that's, a little bit earlier. That's pretty art. I like the flowers. Uh, I like colors. I don't know. That's good art. Got our bluebird of happiness here, Swablu. Uh, I've got another Litleo. I've got another Chinchow. You've gotten three of those, I think. <laughs> I've gotten zero. I've got another Dino. Not Mataki this time, but I do have a Mataki like backgrounded Rufflet to go with the Braviary series that I don't like. Nice. But the silver is, you know, it's kind of pretty. And, you know, this is my second uh, Metallica card in this pack, so I can't complain too much. But that will finish off that pack. Okay. Uh, I finally, once again, got the Good Omen card. So hopefully this one will have something in it. Um, one, two, three. Put that there. Uh, first card, Electric Energy. Second card. Uh, second card. We have again a snow leaf badge, the one that Dabs just showed off. Good for our, you know, our leafions, our glacions. We keep pulling. Oh yeah, another hippodon. I feel like I've we've seen several of this line amongst the, the two of us. Uh, a braviary. I think Dabs had this one before. I have not had this one yet. Um, no attachment to this card or Pokemon, personally. Uh, another tentacle. That's like the third one we've seen. Uh, a hopip. I think you had a hopip earlier. I did. It, uh, I had a hopip and a skip loom, but we haven't seen jump off just yet. So hopefully we will. Yep. Something to look forward to. Yep. And then we got a dino. This is my first dino. Uh, Dabs had this earlier. Whatever. Uh, my first Mareep. I have not had a Mareep yet. Uh, and I have the I have the evolution, the third evolution, right? The third. We're, we're waiting to see a Flafy, so hopefully yeah. we will. Uh, another Wobbuffet. Same one as I had before, not shiny. Uh, we have an Iceberg Ice Pokemon. It's called Avalug. It's shiny. Ah, you got the shiny version of it. I just... I got the non-shiny of that, uh, non-metallic version of that in my latest, latest pack. We haven't seen its prevolution yet, which is apparently Bergamite I read in the upper corner. I don't know why this isn't focusing. There we go. It is shiny. has that sort of blue background. And here we go. We got, we actually, probably my best card so far, we have a full shiny Glaceon. Oh, wow. Uh, nice. If, if it'll focus. My camera's being very finicky right now. There we go. Very cool, fully shiny Glaceon. Definitely the best card I've pulled so far. I Looks like awesome. Glaceon. Yeah, I don't think Glaceon's a particularly good Pokemon or anything, 
But uh, I'm, gonna not, this, but... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this in the sleeve just just for fun. Let's put this I mean, it's probably better in the card game because, like, in uh, you know, in the actual video game, ice types are just the worst. But in the card yeah. game, there's no such thing as ice, so it's probably fine. Yeah, that's definitely the best looking card I've gotten so far, and that does fit the uh, this letting you know that you have a good card. So, yeah, nice. Put it in the sleeve. All right. Unfortunately for me, I've opened my next pack, which is a, I don't know, it was, I think it was a Duraladon pack, and I've got the uh, green and black, you know, the shitty code card. So you, you still get that. shiny, you still get shiny cards in there, but I, I don't, I guess it's, it's true that you don't get the uh, crazy good ones. In there. All right, so we're gonna take one, two, three from the back. I'm gonna flip over this plain water energy, and I'm gonna pull. One more to the front. I don't know if that's the right way, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it. And I've got a Wishy Washy, a Pokemon that uh, I first oh. encountered in Sword Shield. I really like the uh, like idea wishy-washy. of Wishy Washy, where, you know, when it's at full strength, it, all the little Wishy Washies school together to make a giant Wishy Washy. And, you know, it's sort of good for a little while until it gets to low health <laughs> and then it sucks. Uh, well, I think you know, every Pokemon's bad at low health, right? Technically. So. Uh, they're all charging at like somebody here, like all together. Like it's cool card art. It's a rapid strike. I like this card. It's neat. I don't know if there's a evolution card of that or not to show it when they're all schooled together, but you know that is what it is. Uh, here's an Ursa ring to go with my Teddy Ursa from earlier. It looks, you know, it looks threatening. Like until it gets like hit in the snoop by a magic carpet. It's like, Whoa. <laughs> so like I, uh, I don't know, Ursa ring. I, I don't love. Uh, my first cross stole my first thing from this line, but Jake got one a little bit earlier. Uh, new trainer card, also not a trainer. It's the Rescue Carrier. It looks like a baby buggy or something, like a washing machine baby, baby buggy. <laughs> Put up to two Pokemon, each with 90 HP or less, from your discard pile into your hand. So, nice. Okay. Uh, Maybe one got, day we'll get a trainer that's actually a human trainer. Uh, that'd be interesting. To... I mean, hopefully it's in one of the stocks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got Hippopotas, my first one of those. I've got my first Lillipop. And, you know, it actually is pretty cute here. Like, I like the way it's got its like little paw in front of its face. It's kind of feisty. Like, I like it. Maybe we'll see the uh, third evolution. Maybe we won't. Uh, I've got my own Nicket, and it looks cute. Uh, this is the first time we've seen Bergamite, which is the unevolved oh, the one I just of got. Avalug. Yeah. And, I mean, it looks kind of derpy, but <laughs> it, it's cute enough here, like, floating through the water with its, like, weird Cubone style, like, ice helmet on. Here's a Rogan Rolla, which is the first uh, form of that line that we saw Boldor from earlier. It's got this comic -y style artwork, and, you know, it's cute. I like the uh, big eye there. I like this line. And for my last card, it is my metallic card, and it's a single strike pincer from the Kanto region, red, blue, yellow. Classic. Uh, I remember catching this in Pokemon Blue in the Safari Zone, and it was a pain. Uh, I don't think Pinsir's ever been particularly good, but I kind of did like Pinsir in Pokemon Journeys when it has its weird romance with Heracross. So, you know, it's an interesting card to pull. I'll put it with my better cards, and uh, we will go back over to Jake. Okay. We start off with the Hype Killer, the green card. Uh, and then we move one, two, three. Energy card is... Uh, uh, what did we just establish this energy was? Uh, uh, I think we... is that, That's not steel, it's not steel, dark. It's, I think it's it, dark energy. It, it's surprisingly bright for a dark energy, but... Yeah, I know, but I, yeah. I think it's I think it's dark. Because okay. steel's like these weird, like, three triangle marks or something. Oh, we have a uh, Lombre, which is uh, the evolved form of... Uh, uh what's what's the name lotad uh, lotad yeah i saw she a very cute uh expression on him i don't know i think it's that's a cool looking card I like that uh we have a full face guard trainer card uh if a pokemon this card is attacked attached to has no abilities it takes 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's pokemon okay okay we have a hypno classic generation one uh pokemon if it wants to focus 
Okay. Nothing did, did crazy. You like, did you like Hypno, Jake? Like, I don't know if I've uh, met anybody who really likes that line. I don't like Hypno. Drowsy is okay. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I never, I never use them personally. So, uh, we have a cutie fly. I think it's the first time we've seen a cutie fly tonight. Very cool art. It is. It'll, it'll evolve into your ribambi. Very cute art. Very colorful. Almost like a, almost like a small child drew it, like a, at a, at school. Uh, another Pikachu. I think it's my second or third Pikachu. We have uh, Applin. First Applin of the night for either one of us, I think. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him yet, and I, I still can't see him because he's not focusing. But uh, he's there. He's he's just. I mean, I'm sure he's cute because he's an Applin. There he goes. Yeah, he's just eating some. I don't know how apples would go to a watering hole to drink water, but they. I mean, I was they, shocked yeah. in Pokemon Snap when I saw that the apple is not part of that Pokemon. The Pokemon is just like a worm, and it can just like leave the apple oh. and be out on its own. Like it was really weird. It's like that ghost Pokemon that's in the teacup. Like the teacups is the. Mm. This is the body. We have a little pup. We've seen a lot of little pups. Uh, we have an Emolga. I think Dabs had one earlier. I this is my first one. A little flying squirrel, electric Pokemon. We have a, another cutie fly, but this one is a shiny, a shiny cutie fly. Uh, I'm not going to wait to focus on it because, but the background's just a shiny purple, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, we have a Falapel. Uh, oh, it's the version I don't like of the Applin family. Yeah, so it's just a regular, nothing shiny about it, but yeah, Flapple. Cool. All right, so. That'll do it for my pack. All right, so I've got a Sylveon here. Sylveon pack, not another Sylveon. I don't think I'll draw another Sylveon, but maybe if I can open this pack. <clears throat> All right, so. All right, so I think this is the good one. I'm I'm getting confused now. But yep, I think this is the, is the good one. card. That is the good one. Green and white. All right, so maybe we'll have something good here. So one, two, three, pulled out, and then we're going to uh, use psychic energy. Put to the side. And flip this over. So we've got a herdier again, the second uh, form of Lilypop. We've got Pyroar, the evolution of Litleo again. We've got another Dream Ball. We've got another Mareep. Now, here's something we haven't seen just yet, but you sort of saw it because here is, uh, this is the drowsy that goes with your Hypno. And cool. it's kind of cool artwork for this. Like, yeah, this Pokemon I never cool. like and will never, I don't think I've ever use this in a game, but you know, it looks cool. Yeah. Um, it's probably as cool as he's ever looked. Here's another Scraggy, a Pokemon that like, nice. I enjoy. We've got another Phoebus, a Pokemon that's one of my favorite from Ruby uh, Sapphire. We've got a plain Hitmonchan. Cool. Who you like. And uh, let's see here. We have got a Salamence with the uh, shiny background. The uh, last okay. form from the Bagon family. So that's sort of cool. Uh, he's from Ruby Sapphire. And, you know, he's breathing fire. And he's, I don't know, he's up on a ledge or something with some gold in the background. So that's sort of neat. I'll pull that aside. And lastly, from this pack, we've got something called a Marshadow. I think that I saw a movie about Marshadow, oh. but it was pretty unmemorable. I think it's like the mythical Pokemon from some generation, maybe Alola. I don't. I don't really know, but it's metallic-y, and we haven't seen one yet, so I think it's sort of special at least. But it's Rapid Strike, uh, legendary Pokemon, and uh, that is that for that pack. Okay. Uh, this should be a good pack for me. I got the good sign card. All right, hope uh, that Vaporeon's in there. Yes, one, two, three to the front. Energy card is Leaf. Uh, first card we have another Bravery. Seen Bravery before. Uh, we have more of those switching cups, the beer pong cups that I got early on. Uh, we have another Tentacruel. Uh, that's my second one, I believe. We have a Nicket, uh, the third Nicket we've seen tonight. Hopefully we'll see a Thievul. Yes. Uh, we have another Dwebble. It's my second one of the night. An uh, this is my first, wait, no, I haven't, I've had a Rufflet. Uh, we've seen a lot of Rufflets tonight. This is my second one, I believe. Uh, 
Oh, first first time we've seen this guy tonight. This is a Rog and Rolla. Cute little I got guy. a nice cute uh, comic-y big eye there. Yeah, yeah, that's the background definitely looks like it was drawn by a small child. You get you would never show up on camera. You'd have to like hold this in your hand. But it looks like they took crayon and drew on it, which is pretty cute. Um, my third Wava Fett. They seem to like to give me Wava Fets. Uh, we have a semi shiny Lit Leo. My second one tonight. I, I I didn't have a shiny the first time though. That's cool. And oh, we have a another special looking card, just like the Glaceon. This is a Garbor V Max card. Oh man, I think that might be a good card. Yeah, that's the uh, V Max uh, Garbodor. Yeah. I don't know anything about this Pokemon, but I'm definitely Dylan. Putting it in, in uh, can you put sleeve. that back on the screen so we can yeah. see what kind of uh, metallic sheen it has on it? Is that the rainbow or like? It's the rainbow. Oh man, that looks badass! Like Dylan, is this uh, is this any good? Like, let me look up here and see what the uh, ratios are of getting this V Max Garbodor in a sleeve. Is it a full art? It's a full art. Uh, it might be. It's card number one ninety. Uh, where do where do I see a number on it? I don't know. I don't. I'm just looking at these pack ratios. I think that might be a one in eight hundred ninety seven card, but I'm just trying to. I don't know. I see. There's a that's rainbow a Garbodor. Dylan says one that's in, a good card. There's a rainbow Garbodor that's a one in two thousand three hundred thirty three. This is a, this is a rainbow one, I think. That it's might be what that is. Here. Like that seems like a pretty good card. Yeah. There's only cool. a there's only a couple of uh rainbows in these ratios that i'm looking at so that's pretty cool the best card is Requaza and then the full cart evs uh yeah i have one of the evs uh glaceon i don't know if it's a rainbow one but it's it's definitely very cool it's definitely my favorite one of the pack so far so yeah cool i have two uh what i would deem i guess good cards now the glaceon and the, the garbage monster <laughs> who i don't really have any attachment to but still cool. I mean, I, I always like that as one of the inanimate object Pokemon. Like, I love that there is a trash bag Pokemon that everybody <laughs> hates. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you get the cards in the bottom corner, it'll tell you something. Does it tell us the card number or something? Mm. Bottom corner. Uh, it says E101 of 203. Okay, so you, that's card 101. Does it tell us like 101 on these? I don't know. The number here, I don't say anything that matches up to 101. I don't know. Dylan will have to tell us like what that card number is. Anyway, I've got a Rayquaza pack here. I'm down to two packs, and this is my uh, second to last pack. So I've got a uh, green and white code card here that I can pull off. Then I'm going to pull one, two, three. And I will flip this steel energy. So then I can flip this over. And I've got another skip bloom. Still hoping to see jump puff. I've got another Fletchinder. <coughs> I've got a shopping center trainer yet again. Uh, I've got my first Will Buffett, which I don't know what's going on here. It looks like Will Buffett has been like Superman punched and like his head's like blasting into the ground or something. <laughs> yeah. Is yes. that what you what you got out of this? Yeah, I have three of those. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it looks like to me. Uh, I've got a love disc. Everybody loves love disc, or they don't. Uh, my first Dwebble, You've had a couple Dwebbles, but mm -hmm. I'm happy to get it. And I like his, uh, you know, his colored pencil style of uh, artwork. My first Hippopotis. I think it's your uh, second one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I think it's your well, second one. Maybe I've just seen uh, so many of them. I think I think that you've had multiple, but I've seen like seven of him tonight. <laughs> all right, so I've got Zorua, a uh, plain one. We haven't seen a Zoro arc yet. Hopefully, we do. Uh, for my Metaki card, I've got an Eevee, which might be nice. useful because I had a Sylveon earlier, which it's I would guess too. this can evolve into. And then I have one more card, and it is also a Glaceon, but mine oh. is a Glaceon. Is your this one looks different from the yours, one you had, I think. Yours is definitely different than mine. Hold on. I'll show you mine in a second. Uh, mine is a shiny as well, but it's a different pose. You got the better one. You got oh, the... You got, but yours is like a full rainbow one. Mine isn't the rainbow. Mine's just a full art shiny 
one. Yours is a different so, pose, and I think the the more of the art that shows is better. Like yours, yours doesn't have a border like mine kind of does. Um, you def that's a that's probably a really good card. That's probably one that a lot of people want. Yeah, that's the second best Glaceon. What's the first oh, best Glaceon? How many Glaceons are in this? I don't know. I like this Glaceon. That's Glaceon's a good one. one of my. Yeah. I would evolves that from Glaceon V Dynamax. I have Glaceon uh, uh, V. Okay, so but so but yeah, okay. Between us, we can evolve this yeah. Glaceon somehow. Cool. And you have the okay, EV, well, so yeah. Well, that's good to know. And that's it for that pack. Okay. Uh this is a good pack sign. So put that there. The the best Glaceon is in the park Ooh, with snow around it. Baby. Look at the book. The book. Oh, I forgot that there was this book. Energy card. Nothing special. I have... Oh! Okay. This is a Floet. Wait, this is, I think this is the first Floet we've seen tonight. Is uh, that the evolution of Flabebe? I think. Very cute card. I actually like the art on this. Uh, very detailed art, really. That's actually really cool. I'm just going to put that in the good pile just because I like that card. Uh, another boost shake. Another dumb trainer card. Uh, I don't think we've seen this card yet tonight, Dabs. This is a Shellgon. Oh, that's the middle form of the uh, Bad Nine Nine. So between us, we might be able to uh, evolve that Solomance. Okay. Shellgon. That's kind of cool looking. Interesting design. And here's a Bagon, which I've had a, I had in my first pack. Or second pack. Uh, Woobat. We've seen Woobat tonight. Uh, we have, oh, first time we've seen him tonight. This is a tin pole. Uh, oh, that's a whole line we haven't seen any of. Yeah. It's which I'm, on. I'm flipping through this book here that shows the different cards that we could have pulled. And, uh, once we finish these cards, we should take a look it's at this. It's not because... focusing, but he, he's a very cute, uh, there we go. Got a little happy face on him. We'll, we'll have to take a look at this booklet together once we've finished pulling because it turns out that there's 236 different cards we could have pulled, but oh, I don't think that we've pulled anywhere anywhere near that. So another first appearance tonight is a Psyduck sitting on a beach, looking cute. Oh, is that a claymation well, style? It is sort of like a water art. Um, yeah, this is like a water art type of style. It's a very cute. I actually like that card a lot. Uh, I have my first Eevee. It is not shiny like Dabs is, but uh, it's good to have an Eevee. We have a shiny Fletchling, which we've seen Fletchling tonight. And, oh, a shiny... This is a cute Pokemon. I've never seen this one before. Uh, Victini? Oh, wow. It's a Victini. That's the uh, mythical Pokemon from... Is that from um, Diamond Pearl? Oh, focus. I can't remember I like if that's Diamond Pearl or if that's black and very, white, but very good art on it. I like that art. Put that in a shiny pile. No, and that is Pearl uh, is Manafi. And that is it for me for that pack. I only have one pack left. I also have one pack left, and I saved this Umbreon pack for last because I like Umbreon. Uh, I've had a lot of those green and white code cards, so I think this is probably gonna be the green and black code card of Doom, but we'll find out in just a second. I was hoping to get one Vaporeon in these packs, so I have one last chance to get one. We'll see. Hopefully that's enough. For, yep, I've got... The, all right, so I've got the bad pack. <laughs> so I'm prepared for that. So one, two, three. Pull those to the front. Here is a Fire Energy to just throw over there to the side. Flip it. So I've got the Lucky Ice Pop trainer card. First time I think we've seen the Lucky oh. Ice Pop. That's, I don't know how you get trained by a uh, uh, ice ice pop, but you do. I mean, maybe it's a sea salt ice cream, and in which case, hey, like, I like no. this a lot more. Yeah. Uh, heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. If you healed any damage in this way, flip a coin. If heads, put this lucky ice pop into your hand instead of the discard pile. Okay. okay? Uh, I've got my first tentacruel. You've had a couple, but this will go well with my tentacruels. Uh, I've got a Palpitoad, the evolution of Tim Paul. I think this is the first time we've seen this tonight. And, you know, it's, I don't know, it's as cute as I think this Pokemon can look. Yeah. Uh, I've got another Hippopotas. <clears throat> I've got my first Tim Paul. 
cute art. I like that one. He's smiling. Uh, I've got another Leo. I've got another Eevee. Not shiny this time. I've got a cutie fly. I don't know if I had a cutie fly before or not. I think I did. I think you had a rare Bombi and I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I've got a... Okay, I've got a Seismitoad. So in this pack, I've completed the line of Seismitoad, Timpole, and Palpitoad. Nice. Yay. And for my last card, I have got just this weirdly drawn... All right, good night, uh, Dylan. Shiny card. Dylan's, uh, Dylan's head of her, ba- uh, no. her bed. Oh, Dylan was like, oh, this card sucks. I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice hip, though. Uh, it's crouching hip. No, and, you know, it's fine. Thanks for, uh, you know, giving us tips, uh, Dylan. We appreciate it. Is that the last card? That is my last card. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, our last pack of the night is going to be a letdown, according to these cards. Maybe, uh, maybe the yes. maybe this lie. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe it's the uh, the best card in here. I don't know. All right, three from the back. First card, fighting energy. Uh, next card, we have a treasure energy. I don't know what I don't know what a treasure energy is used for. I don't know what that's used uh, for either. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides it energy. Oh. Yeah, that seems useful. Okay. A trainer ribbon badge. It's a little heart badge thing. Uh, if the Pokemon V this card is attached to has Sylveon in its name and is knocked out by damage from an attack of your opponent, that player takes one fewer prize cards. Okay. No idea what that is. Oh, a Falafi. There we go. Oh, ah, we need to see Falafi. So you can yeah. complete your set now. Yeah, I have all of them now. If it'll there we go. Very cool card. Looks like it's going super saiyan in this field. Um, Weird that Falafi goes from yellow to pink and then back to yellow. Yeah, I can now complete that one. That's cool. Another Bagan. I've seen Bagans a lot tonight. Another Lit Leo. I've seen a few of him. And a Lotad. We've seen a lot of low. Uh, that's my second low tad, I think, and Dabs has had one. A Teddy Ursa. That's my first Teddy Ursa of tonight. I don't think I've had one. Uh, Cryogonal. We've seen a few of him. That weird ice flake Pokemon. Uh, trainer card, digging gloves. Uh, attacks. I'm sorry. Card. Uh, digging gloves. Okay. Trainer card. Uh, Okay. And they let uh, you dig? I just add 30 damage more to your Pokemon's attack. To your fight. It has to be a f- to fighting cards. And the last card of the night, nothing spectacular, although it does complete my uh, evolutionary line, I think. It's a Sharkpedo. Ah, Sharpedo. Uh, and is it Metallic for you? No, it's not. It's just a regular. The digging gloves are the Metallic one for you? Yeah. So. I mean, Sharpedo looks pretty cool in that artwork, at least. Yeah. But that'll do it for all of our cards. The rest of these are just yeah. energy. So now, before we like sign off here, like if you want to take a quick look at your book, I'm looking at this book to see the cards that we could have pulled and didn't, and like we did not pull like basic like jump off. We didn't pull a Tropius. We didn't pull any of the Leafions. Uh, we didn't pull Trevenant V or Trevenant V Max, which have some really cool art on them. Uh, Flareon, I got another pack like before this. Volcarona is apparently around in this. Oh, there's an uh, there's an ice cube in here, an ice cube. Oh man, is it a basic? Yeah, it's a basic. Why didn't I get but... that? Uh, I need a basic ice cube, Dylan. If you get a, a basic ice cube, Dylan, send Dylan it my way. Oh, he'll watch this event. Oh, Michael sure. Burger's here. Uh, anything good? We'll we'll get, we'll show our shinies here in a second. Yeah, I'll have to pull back cool. through mine, but I I think we got a couple cards that were decent. I think Jake might have got a really good card, and I think I, I got think, something. That I think Dab's recent. got a really good card. I think too. Uh, let's see what else is in here though. I wanted that ice cube, but I didn't get it. Uh, it is unfortunate that of all the evolutions, we both got uh, Glaceon, but oh, we got different Glaceons. So they, they were different Glaceons. Yeah, we didn't get any Espeons. We didn't see a Zoroark. Uh, your Garbodor VMAX, though, I think is a real good card. We didn't get an yeah. Umbreon. Yeah. Uh, I got that weird Metacham, though, that had the full art on it. Um, Whoa, there's, there's like full, like if you go to the back page, there's like full on straight rainbow cards. Do, wow. 
And the, there's there's the trainers. We didn't get an actual like person trainer out of any of these. I know Michael Berger. Like, how difficult is it to get a trainer? Because we probably pulled like twenty trainer cards, and none of them were you know humans. They were all like faces <laughs> and things. Well, like we had, we had ice cream, we had uh, beer bottles and stuff, and I don't know. Just oh, there was a frost glass in here. Oh, really? Is it a shiny or anything? Or? It's uh, it's on the last page. It's like it looks special. I don't know if it's a shiny, but it looks very special. Oh, it does look cool. It's gold. Yeah. These gold cards must be super rare because there's. Oh, it's a shiny Pokemon. It's a gold card and it's a shiny Pokemon because shiny Inteleon and shiny Cresselia are next to it. That's probably super rare. All right, so here's here's a brief yeah, recap let's... of uh the. Sh I'll show the basic shiny ones that I got. Uh, I got digging. I oh, got digging gloves. It's a trainer card. I got a shiny Victini, which is really cute. Uh, I got a. This isn't a shiny. I just like the floet that I had. Uh, I got a shiny Litleo. Uh, a cutie fly. A Ava lug. Uh, a slackoth. Slackoth. Slack off. Slack off. A shiny C dot. A Ente, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't expect to see an Ente in this pack, but we got a shiny Ente. Uh, a Dream Ball. A Raichu. And a Carvana. Those are my regular shinies. But then I got two notice notably like special cards. I got a Glaceon V, uh, which was very, very cool. I like the design. Glaceon's a very cool-looking Pokemon. Um, pun intended, I guess. Uh, and then I was got... It intended? Yes. No. So, okay. Uh, a Garbodor VMAX, which is probably... I don't know the values of these cards. This is probably the most valuable one that I got in this. It's a rainbow uh, giant monster of trash. Um, yes, I know you sent me the pool rate data, Michael Berger, but like in the pool rates, like it shows me in this list of ratios, there's several Garbodors, and I'm not sure which one this is, but I think it might be the one in 2,333 packs Garbodor. I think it's a rainbow one, but you'll you'll know better than us. So yeah, overall, I did get some good cards. None of my real favorite cards, unfortunately, are like Pokemon. I was really hoping for a Vaporeon of any kind. Uh, didn't get a Milo Tick. Um, but yeah, these were, it was definitely fun to open these. And, uh, if, if you want to see mine, Michael, like I got for by plain shiny cards, I got like, here's a, uh, metallic Solomons. Here's a metallic Marshadow, which is the only one of these that we, uh, saw tonight. Uh, I got a plain metallic pincer. I got a plain metallic Reggie Drago, which is the only one of those that we saw. I don't know if there is a Reggie Lucky or not. Uh, this is probably the most interesting thing I got. It's this Medicham V, like full card art card. And I don't know, it looks really crazy and different from all of our other cards. So uh, I don't know. I thought, I thought it was interesting. So that was cool. Glaceon, to see. My Glaceon is five bucks. My Garbodor was seven bucks. Eh, okay. Eh, I mean, better than no bucks. Uh, yeah. My first card I pulled tonight was the Sylveon V, which. I think is pretty, if nothing else, and it kind of matches my hair. I feel like so. Oh, that's, that's right. Cool. You did get a different evolution. I forgot that was your first card you pulled. Uh, uh, I got I got a plain Mitaki Chinchow. I got a plain Mitaki Drampa, which has really cool card art. So you know, I, I don't really mind getting one of those. Uh, I got a plain Mitaki Rufflet. I got a plain Mitaki Hypno. I got a plain Mitaki Carvana. And my last card was this uh, Metallic like, Glaceon VMAX, which I guess I can't play because I don't have a plain Glaceon V. That's the one I, that's the one uh, I have, I think. Yeah, Jake, Jake drew that. But like, I think that's probably my other like best card that I pulled tonight. So, you know, overall, like, it was fun. I enjoyed opening these. Like, I don't know that we will uh, make a habit of buying these boxes of cards, but I feel like it was worth buying this box of cards so that we were able to, you know, do this stream. Yeah. Just uh, that's my impressions of this. 
Oops. Do you have any different impressions or anything, Jake? Like, are you? Uh, uh, you should... The experience was definitely fun. I like the idea of opening something and not knowing what you're going to get. It's very exciting. Uh, overall, I didn't get as many cards that I really like as I thought I would, but there are definitely some in here that I did enjoy getting. Sclacyon card is probably the best one that I got. So, yeah. So, uh, th yeah, those are our cards for tonight. Thank you for uh, you know watching. Whoever watched us, I I can I'm in Streamyard, so all I know <clears throat> is that Michael Berger is watching us, and apparently like three other people, of which I th I think Jake might be one. Um, I think I am. <laughs> so, but thank you for watching, everyone, and uh, you know that that's all I've got to say. Yeah, that's all I got to say, too. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody stay, right. stick around. So uh, thanks, guys, and uh, good night. And uh, hopefully this is going to save into the group so that uh, people who are asleep can watch it tomorrow. All right, so uh, have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. And broadcast.